All right, originally I was gonna get into Hold My Nugget Studios, put on a suit, but it's rather hot outside. It's hot inside. I don't feel like turning on the AC inside my house, but for lack of better location, I'm gonna go do this inside the car that's parked immobilized in my backyard. Now, if you weren't aware or not, the video that I did the commentary on the family by the ton, they a ridiculously obese family. I reposted it on my Facebook. Yes, I'm back on Facebook now. I got about 3.6 million views. And I watermarked it where I put my tag at Chisel Adonis on the video. However, I posted the same thing on Instagram. I had my watermark there. But on YouTube here, when I uploaded the two separate parts like I did on Instagram, on YouTube, I didn't put the watermark. So on Facebook, it ended up going viral, and I'm assuming somebody must have saw the video, then went to my YouTube, took the, um, the YouTube video, which was not including the watermark, and uh, might I add, at the end of the video, I also didn't put my normal ending, because at the time, I had something I wanted to do, so I said, yeah, I'm just gonna post a video, whatever, I'm gonna go about my day. You big dummy. Big dummy? Big dummy. You big dummy! Lo and behold, the video ends up going viral. On Facebook, somebody else posted a video, well over 2 million views. Somebody else posted it, well over 100,000 views. There's about three other pages. I actually could not find the pages today. Yesterday, I was able to find them. I should have took a screenshot of their pages. But um, there's about three other pages that reposted the same video, well over 100,000 views. On Twitter, they have this page with well over 500,000 views. This page with well over 50,000 views. This page with well over 8,000 views. On Instagram, there's this page that has 210,000 followers that shared the video. The page is private, so I tried to reach out to the person. I don't know if they actually saw it. Also, World Star Hip Hop reposted the video. On YouTube, I'm not sure if anybody reshared it. And also, if there were other social media platforms, I'm not sure if it was shared either. Now, I don't mind people, you know, sharing the video, whether they find it funny or whether they find it offensive. That's none of my concern. I really don't care. I don't care about the views either. If you collectively add all the views together, it's well over 10 million views. Now, granted, there could be individuals who watch the same video twice, whatever the case was. But for lack of, you know, actual analytics, let's just say it's well over 10 million views my only problem here is that i'm not accredited in any of those besides the ones that i posted myself like i reached out to three different pages i was able to get them to tag my name on twitter i got um one of them to tag my name on facebook the girl that got well over two million i was able to get her to tag my name she tagged my personal page but nonetheless it's me so i've been getting a ton of different requests i'm trying to send them over to my facebook my youtube my instagram but especially in the case of world star hip-hop because they shared my video before if you guys didn't know this was the one that they shared back in 2017 and after they shared it mind you i tagged the video at that point but in the description world star hip-hop usually puts the you know whatever the tag name of whoever made the video and produced it they would put their instagram so people can go and follow because let's just be honest we live in a society of elongated clitorises people are straight up dickheads stupid they'll never understand how to get information although it's easily accessible right in front of them like for example if i put inside this video i did i gave you details laid everything out i put the tag lane at chisel the donuts all the other stuff they would still say hey do you have youtube what's the name of your youtube you're on youtube hey what's your instagram you know how many times i had on facebook when i would put into the description this is my youtube this is your instagram and people would constantly message me yo what's your instagram handle it's in the caption people don't read right so if you're gonna take somebody's video and share it, at least put the at name. Like for example, I remember um last month or two months ago when I put up the video, said this is how what the chiseled Adonis sounds like when he engages in coitus. Jesus! It was a video where it had um, all the Mario characters. I don't know if it was from Super Smash Bros. Um, no, I think it was Super Smash, um, Smash Bros. I don't know which you know version it was. I think it was the one that was on the Wii U. But the individual who actually produced the video, I put it inside the caption. 
there were people who still wrote down in the comments and yo you stole this from this it's in the caption all right for from this point moving forward i guess i have to tag it at the comment as well as the pinned comment so if you're going to comment on the video you have to scroll past the fact that it's there but still people still do that so now what i find myself in having to do now is that every video that i produce no matter how small no matter how long i'm gonna have to put my watermark on it because there's gonna be situations like this where individuals go out there and share the video but they don't give any sort of credit as to who does it now in my own personal videos because in my commentary videos there's times where i take clips from the score house of highlights bleacher report like with all the high supreme editing that's done inside the video none of that is me i tell people all the time Especially if you comment in the comment section telling me, yo, your editing is on point. I tell them all the time. I'm never one to take credit for somebody else's work. I say I just do the voiceover and compile the highlights of the clips that have, oh, we're losing our compote. Like, like when um, LeBron was doing the thing inside the locker room. We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've got too far. There's too much to lose. It's not just Keep Somebody else did it. It says NBA on TNT at the top. The one um with the Ace Ventura. I I think it says the score or Bleacher Report. One of the two, whoever the hell shared it, I leave their watermark in it, but evidently people aren't, you know, they don't do their due diligence to look on the video and say, oh, that's who produced it. So now in the description um, below, every single time, I'm going to link every single source that I find. The gifts, I have no clue who make the gifts of the spanking. I have no clue who makes it. I find it on Instagram, not Instagram. I find it on, um, on Google Images. The first one I found it on, um, it was on Twitter because NBA on TNT shared it. But the person who I thought made it didn't. So now I was caught in the bind of, damn, I don't know who it is. So what I'm going to do now in the caption, I'm going to always put, if you know who the creator is, tag the creator so I can update it and put it in there. Because I'm not about to find myself in a situation where I'm being oxymoronic, being antithetical, being the antithesis of what it is that I'm trying to say. I want to stay as honest as possible because at this point, Point. I'm getting all these different views people are hitting me up talking about yo are you the one who made the video yes I am I had a guy on Twitter he shared the video I said yo the video is mine like no that's not you I'm like, how you gonna tell me it's not me I tagged you in the original so how I know you ain't reposted my man listen to my voice listen to the voice of the other video it's really not that difficult but I don't really care about the views. Like I said before, the only thing that matters is as long as you can trace it back to me. Because to be quite honest, if you're getting a video like this that has all this views and all this attention, most likely somebody's gonna want to talk to the person who originated the video whether you like it or not if it's somewhat controversial and you want to bring the person on the interview to try to set them straight you're gonna want to talk to the originator the originator of the video if you find it funny and you want to say oh i want to get this guy on the show you're gonna want to talk to the originator of the video that's just how these stuff work and if you know my history with the internet i've been getting blocked on any sort of social media that exists it doesn't matter whether it's instagram facebook youtube or twitter I've had videos removed. I believe the count is at about 19 at this point. Of the videos that amassed well over a million views, it's at 22 at this point. So I really do not care about the views. It's just that as long as my name is associated with the video that was produced. Now, as for um the family, and I'll, I'll end it here. Uh, I actually had the Drew that was in the video who looked like he had the groceries inside his pants. He actually saw the second video where I was talking about the transformation and he messaged me about that. I sent him a message back. And the girl who I said Big Orange University, um, Syracuse University, she saw the video on Facebook and I commented back to her right here. Now I'll say this. Regarding the family personally, again, I don't do these things in disparaging manner. I simply see the video and mind, I wasn't watching the show and said, oh, I'm gonna take this. I saw the video, I produced the video. If you feel a way about it, feel free to speak to me. However, regarding comedy, I don't believe there's any form of protected class. I don't care who you are, you can get it. 
If you feel bad about it, you can feel bad about it. But let me explain something to you. It's not a First Amendment right. It's a human right for me to be able to speak. You're not going to be able to censor me. I do not exist in this realm of political correctness. I do not care about it. I don't believe there's any form of protected classes. I'm going to make fun of you whether you're fat, whether you're black, whether you're Asian, whether you're um, anorexic. I don't care what the condition is. I'm not doing it with nefarious, malevolent, malignant intent. I'm not doing that. It's simply I present it, I move on. I don't spend all my energy on this. I've had several people message me, told me, oh, that was messed up. What you can't keep making fun of my fa I don't, I don't, I don't care. You don't like it, you don't have to watch. That's one of the things that I don't like about the society we have now is because people have gotten so hypersensitive to where they try to censor individuals. Like for example, if you see somebody, or I should say, if you see a video of two animals engaging in coitus, would you sit there if you don't like it and continue to watch videos of animals engaging in coitus? No, the logical person would say, I'm not enjoying this, I actually don't like this, I'm not gonna watch it. What these people do, majority of the people who happen to reach out to me with negative remarks, they will say, oh, I hate when these kind of people do it, and then you'll go to every single video I produce and leave the exact same comment in the context of I don't like what you do. Just don't watch it then. There's several other channels you can go to and watch people that you like. I have people that comment on YouTube all the time talking about, yo, I don't like your stuff, you're not funny, this and that. I had somebody on Twitter hit me up, say, yo, you got 3,000 followers, but you only got 20 retweets? You should quit, you should give it up. You big dummy. How about no? Maybe people ain't like this post, but they like the other one. I really, it doesn't matter to me. But bottom line, to wrap this all up, the catalyst of this video was this. If you see the video circulating around, but you don't see my name attached to it, can you do me a favor and just comment, hey, Chisels Adonis made this video. It would be nice if you gave me a credit and then leave it at that. I don't need you to engage in a battle of verbal uh, um, back and forth with the person who posted the video. I don't need all that. Just leave my name in the comment section and just hope that the people who aren't elongated clitorises will search oh they're saying there's the person who created it go and look and they'll be able to find out for themselves as for world star hip-hop if i do have a third video that is taken and then posted on world star and i don't get the credit i have to get I'm gonna have to put on my suit, hold my Nuggets Incorporated, we'll have yet another case. However, this time, not only will it be performed in a video format, it will be in an actual courthouse as well because the legislation is before you, as you can see. And uh, <clears throat> last I checked, I'm undefeated. Ain't that right, Nancy, Nancy? But. I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. So, another video went viral in the books, but at the end of the day, it don't matter who it is, it don't matter where it is, I still remain the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical individual, the Chisel Adonis. Y'all have yourselves a good Friday. Yeah.